Kia ora team, my name's Ben and we've discussed reliability and validity. So reliability, if I repeat a test, do I get the same result? And validity, are we sure what we're testing is what we say we're testing? If we don't have a test that's reliable and we don't have a test that's valid, then there's no point in doing it. Now let's talk about factors that affect reliability and validity. So the first one is the participant themselves. Physiological factors like their diet or medication can affect the results of a test. So when we're taking a test, we want to make sure, if possible, to standardize the client's diet and make sure we're aware of any medications they're on. For example, beta blockers are going to decrease a heart rate and caffeine is going to increase the client's heart rate and potentially be a performance enhancer. So we need to know what medicine or what diet they're on and that it remains constant or our test won't be reliable or valid. Sleep. The amount and quality of sleep can definitely affect physical performance. The time of day, people can perform better at certain times of day. So as long as we standardize the time of day the test is taken, then we can be happy with reliability and validity. Previous activity, so if, a, if an athlete is involved in a heavy training schedule before you first test them, and then a light training schedule the next time, this can affect the test result. Other factors relating to the participant would be mental factors or motivation. So how motivated they are can definitely affect the results. The next category is the tester him or herself. If a different tester comes in, the different tester can bring in different judgments or different techniques that could affect the result. So often it's best if we standardize the same tester each time. And if we can't, then we need to make sure we standardize very strictly the protocols for the test. Encouragement versus silence. Studies have definitely shown that if you yell and scream encouragement at someone, then this can improve their performance and their strength. It doesn't matter whether you have encouragement or silence, as long as you standardize that before each test. The other area that we can have errors would be technical errors. So this is if we test using different equipment, if there's variations in that equipment, that may lead to testing errors. Also, calibration. We've got to make sure that if it says 1 kg, is it 1 kg? Equipment set up. If the equipment is set up differently each time, this may change lever lengths, it may change position of the client in the testing, so therefore that may change the result. So there we go. There's three areas we have to be careful of when we're testing to make sure we ensure reliability and validity. The participant, the tester, and the technical error associated with the testing equipment. Alright team, happy testing!